Okay, my oversized uh, DU DIY uh, homemade exposure unit is pretty much done. Um, there's a little things that I could do, but I think I'm just going to leave it the way it is for now and see how it works. And if there's anything I want to change, um, I'll go back in. But I don't know, it seems to be working. This is my piece of glass. I'm not putting it on right now because I want to um, test it a couple times as far as the light goes. And then I'm going to put the glass on. And I also want to vacuum out the inside before I put this glass on. But I already had it on it and it worked fine and the suction was really good too. So here's the unit. Excuse my mess. Um, as you can see, I have the neoprene on there. I have, um, this is the light switch for the light. So this turns the light bulb on and off. This is for the fan, or sorry, the vacuum and the fan. So I'm gonna, I have the fan, which you can have on, um, you know, before you turn or after you turn your, your light bulb on. So it just stays, stays cool. And I also like having this switch separate so that when I turn this off, I can let it cool down for a while uh, before I decide to turn the whole unit off. Um, down here, this weird thing right here, this is the shutter. And this just slides like a drawer super easy it's very, very smooth actually um, this was the bracket stuff I was talking about I got these uh, just at a the, the, the just this metal shop down the street and I screwed holes in it and uh, laid my neoprene on it so let me open it here give me a second oh I gotta flip this back so inside is uh, the light source that's a metal halide a thousand watt light bulb uh, hooked up to a ballast and everything like that. That's a fan that runs. Um, and it's, I'll show you what it looks like when I shut the shutter. So like this is the shutter shutting like that. See it's all messy. I got a vacuum in there. And uh, again when I open it up, voila. Pretty easy. Um, yeah, there's really not a lot to show you. That's pretty much it. I mean the unit is, um, the vacuum is hooked up over here and the back needs to be put on but I'm gonna leave it open it's kind of way back here but down here is the vacuum and uh, I left some open space down here for uh, so that air can kind of uh, flow out and this is gonna be against the wall so I don't know I have to test it out to see how it is and decide how I want to work the back if I want to put another vent on the back or if I just want to leave it open so that um, there can be good airflow going through it just depends on what it all looks like when I get it into the the dark room so anyway, this is, um, I think this is, what, uh, what did I say, 41 inches by 55 inches about, somewhere in there. And I'm hoping to be able to expose two screens at once or very large uh, oversized screens. I'm probably going to paint this black as well and maybe do some spray painting on this side black. I, I just wanted everything to be black except down there where the light source is coming from. I don't, I wasn't too sure about the, um, about the reflector. Uh, I had a reflector in my old one. It seemed to work fine. I don't know. It should work okay. I don't see any issues with this exposure unit. But anyway, that is my homemade exposure unit. Um, I had to cut a side here because I needed the drawer to come out more. I could have made like a little box or something just to make it look cool, but I don't know. It works fine. When I have it in there and I have it just set up where it needs to be and it's just being used every day, um, it's going to be simple, easy, and it took me about, well, it honestly it took me about three weeks to make it. Not because I worked in it every day for three weeks, but because a lot of parts took a while to come in. Um, and, you know, today, really, I didn't plan on finishing it, but I just need to get it done with because I've got so much stuff going on. We're going to be purchasing a bottle printer here. Uh, we've got a lot of business in the local area for people who are looking for bottle printing. So that's kind of exciting. I might uh, hook you up with some information on that, show you how that whole process goes. We've been looking at a lot of manufacturers, and um, we've got some places around here that might be looking for as many as 30,000 bottles a month. I don't know. That's just hearsay. We'll find out. Could be good business. I just wanted to show you this homemade uh, oversized exposure unit. And if you have any questions, visit me at screenprinters.biz. Um, it's a brand new website, and I can answer questions there. I don't really like going on uh, YouTube every day and answering questions. There's a forum there you can just post about this unit or whatever. Just come and make an account and hang out there. But anyway, um, I think that's it for today. All right, thank you for watching.